Hi, I'm Cody DeGalorians. And I'm Alex Giannini, and we're the program managers at the Westport Library. And this is 10 Questions with uh, short video interviews with our favorite authors while they and we are stuck at home. And these 10 questions are for Kate Reculia. Say hi, Kate. Hi. So StoryFest fans will get a chance to meet Kate this September as she joins us for, uh, jo joins our incredible author lineup for StoryFest 2020, which seems like it's so far away, but it's the really good thing that's coming this year. Uh, and we love Kate for a bunch of reasons. Uh, firstly, she's a library person just like us, so big points there. Uh, and she's the author of the incredible Tuesday Mooney Talks to Ghosts, which is such a great book. And really, we, we recommend this, so go grab it on uh, on 3M real quick because it's there. I haven't gotten it yet. Do it. Um, so uh, Tuesday Morning Talks to Ghosts was one of Kirkus's best books of 2019 and we're so happy to have you here, Kate. Thank you. I am so happy to be here and so happy to see you guys. Not in the same room, but sort of. <laughs> so we're in the same Zoom meeting room. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. What is, what so, is together? <laughs> so what project of yours should people grab while they are stuck at home? All right, so I Tuesday Morning Talks to Ghost would be great if you're like going stir crazy and you really want to go out because it is set in Boston uh, where I live for 11 years and it is definitely, I love Boston so much. And so it's definitely full of all my little Boston details. Or if they really want to lean into it, Bellwether Rhapsody is my Glee Meets the Shining book. It's about a bunch of kids trapped in a hotel with no place to go. So I got both, I got both. <laughs> How about a, uh, a go-to book by somebody else that, that you're leaning on right now to get through uh, this thing we're all going through? All right. I cheated and I brought a couple. So um, basically what's getting me through is short, fantastic fiction. So Friday Black, fantastic, uh, by uh, Narukwame Ajibrenya, which I think I pronounced his name correctly. Apologies if I didn't. Um, Stories for the Nighttime and Some for the Day by Ben Lurie. Great. And of course, Hail Queen Octavia Butler, uh, This is Blood Child, which I had never read before. Oh my God, it's incredible. And also included in short fiction are books that I like read as a child and haven't read in a long time, like Sally Lockhart Mysteries by Philip Pullman. Um, just something that is fantastic, literally, that takes me out of whatever this is, but like I can digest in a sitting has been very satisfying. So enjoy. What about your go-to album right now? Okay, so I sing in the Bach Choir of Bethlehem, and right now, wisely, appropriately, we are not rehearsing, <laughs> but I do miss it, and the album that I've been listening to a lot is one that we actually recorded two years ago, last year, of, and I'm gonna, my German pronunciation is terrible, uh, Ich hatte viel Bekrümenis, which is um, one of his cantatas, Bach's cantatas, and it translates to um, oh, it's like I feel grief or I have felt grief. <laughs> it's really, it's really a mood. But also the new Dua Lipa album is a complete banger. <laughs> so I've been toggling. I've been toggling through a lot of emotions right now. How about a go-to movie or a TV show that you're binging currently? I have been watching Babylon Berlin, which is so good. Um, my friend Catherine Van Arendonk, yes, I did drop my friend Catherine Van Arendonk. She's a TV critic for Vulture. She has been like, you need to watch the show uh, to the world. And now is the perfect time for it. It is set in like Weimar, Berlin. Um, it is incredibly immersive and it's in German. So you have to really pay attention to it. And it just feels great to be rewarded by paying attention to something that is not my phone <laughs> right now. <laughs> What about a go-to beverage right now? Coffee. Like, I just, I'm trying not to drink so much because, like, I'm not as active during the day, so I don't sleep as well as night. But, like, just a little bit of coffee is such a comfort. <laughs> <laughs> How about a go-to work-from-home outfit? Um, I don't have a full, like, actual outfit that I would recommend, but I've really been appreciating socks lately. <laughs> like... <laughs> Like there's something about, because I do a lot of, um, I have a lot of gigs. I do a lot of things either from home or part-time jobs. And now that everything is sort of like virtual, I'm having a harder time separating. Well, this is my, this is what I wear when I go out in the world to work part-time at my library, Bethel Mary Public Library, props. Um, so something about wearing the socks feels like, even though I don't put my feet into shoes, it feels like I'm I'm ready, they're like, I'm ready to work <laughs> when I have my socks on. I can't explain it, but that's really the only consistent thing that I notice elevates my mood if I put on socks in the morning. <laughs> Where's the go-to place you'd rather be right now? 
Uh, when I was a kid, my family and I would go to um, a night of lake, uh, Sylvan Beach area uh, in upstate New York, and we would just go for two weeks for a vacation and hang out. And, um, you know, it was the 80s. We did not have cable. We had like three stations of TV. And I would read and play games and eat a lot of pie. And it was just a really wonderful, calm, beautiful place. So I would go there. How about a uh, a go-to time waster, guilty pleasure or otherwise? So I've been taking a lot of pictures of my cats <laughs> um, and sharing that cat content, that hot cat, cat content on Instagram. Um, so I live by myself, so it's just me and my cats, and we are very close, but like they're just adorable. <laughs> and I've just been really enjoying going on like little photo essays with my cats. So who would be the go-to person you'd like to hear answer these questions? Uh, the first person I thought of was Kermit the Frog because I find Kermit the Frog just enormously comforting um, and very wise and small and green. Um, but barring him, Margaret Atwood, I feel like she would also, she's not small and green, but would also be very sort of wise and comforting and Canadian. How about a go-to nostalgia bomb? A go-to nostalgia bomb, first time I miss, uh, messed up, uh, go-to nostalgia bomb that brings you to a happy place. Okay, so I um, still use Pandora, and I have this incredibly carefully curated Pandora station just called Valerie Radio, and it is built around Steve Winwood's epic 80s banger, Valerie. And I've just really been been enjoying that kind of like 80s adult contemporary music that is up-tempo, but, you know, because everyone, it's like Bruce Hornsby and Dave, uh, Steve Winwood, they're right, they're like in their 40s. They've like no regret. <laughs> so it's like sad, but up tempo. Um, and that has just really been speaking to me. Although I did the other day, Mandolin Rain came on and it was just like, I just couldn't. And then that felt good. And that was necessary. We're going to feel a lot of feelings right now. So I recommend listening to 80s adult contemporary pop. Richard Marks. Oh my God. Yeah. Like, it's just a lot. It's, it's, it's helpful. <laughs> so how can people find you online, especially to get that cat content? Where oh. can they find you uh, on the internet? So the cat content is um, on my Instagram, which is uh, at Gomez Rack. My uh, tuxedo cat is named Gomez. Um, and you can find me on just my name, kateraculia.com, and at Twitter, which I have been a little more online lately, um, uh, at Kate Reculia also. I'm the only Kate Reculia there is, as far as I know. So if you Google me, you'll find me. Thank you, Kate, for taking like a couple of minutes out of the day uh, with, with socks or without. I'm, I don't know. Oh, oh, I have socks on. Do you want to see them? They're really <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, yeah. They've got like cats on perfect. them. Perfect. Like, oh, like perfect. Cats. Yeah. <laughs> so you know she's serious. Yes. <laughs> I'm serious. These are my business socks right now. <laughs> Thank you for taking some time out to talk to us and answer these questions. We really, really appreciate it. And it was a lot of fun, too. Thank you so much for having me. So if you want to check out more of the 10 questions with, you can head over to the library's website, which is westportlibrary.org to uh, rewatch this one or watch uh, any of the other ones that we have there. So thanks again, Kate. Thank you.